Hello lovelies. So I thought I'd just do a really quick thing today about something I figured out this morning. It's probably not used to a lot of people, but anyway, figured out this morning while I was mucking around. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of colour in my face. It's red, not an appropriate colour for face colour. So I was mucking around today and noticed that the Fundamental palette I recently got on Ella Masker's sale has this lovely matte uh, mint green cream eyeshadow. Well, cream pigment. And so I thought to myself, I wonder what that will do to red skin, because most correctors are um, obviously green, for the ones for redness are green. So I thought I'd give it a go, so I'll just demonstrate, because why not? It's a YouTube video, that's what you do on YouTube videos. So I'm just going to get a little bit on the tip of my Eco Tools flat foundation brush, and I'm just going to very, very lightly just brush that across the worst of the reddened areas. And then just gently, gently, gently work that into the skin, which will probably take a little while because I have, well, anything shows up on my skin just about, um, which is irritating to say the very, very least. And I do have a lot of redness there. I probably use just a little bit too much pigment uh, for what I'm trying to do, but that's okay. And I'll do it on the other side as well, just so you can see. And you really don't need a lot. I mean, that's a, that's as much as I'm putting on my brush, and that's that's not a hell of a lot. And all of it will end up on my face as well. So it just all comes off the brush and onto my face. Um, I really like this bamboo uh, Eco Tools brushes. Uh, they're like they're fairly soft. Um, I'm really bad with brush on my face. It tends to really irritate my skin. These ones aren't too bad. I can't manage to get a good foundation with these, but. Mm, that's probably my experience more than anything else, as well as my skin just going, I hate you, a lot, uh, which it does. So anyway, um, there we go, that's pretty much blended in, and it's not a huge, huge difference. I mean, there's still obviously quite a bit of redness going on, but it's enough to just make that little bit of difference, especially under foundation. I mean, all I've got on my face at the moment is moisturiser, um, pretty much. I've just got a bit of moisturiser on, and... After my normal cleansing routine, my skin is still a bit freaked out. Uh, also, just having fiddled with my face with the brush all over it, it's freaking out a bit more. Uh, I can feel it, actually. Uh, but that's just because my face is like that. So if I build it up just a little bit, I'm doing it a very little bit at a time because it is, particularly on my colour skin, it's so easy to overdo anything and you end up looking a bit, well, in this case, Vulcan, I guess. Or like um, the Good Witch's sister, Glenda. I still haven't seen Wicked. I really should. I live in London. I should go see Wicked. But yeah, that's just, uh, and I'll just blend that in. Just in, again a little bit more. And there we go. That, that, there we go. That's just nearly completely covered the redness there. Uh, now the remaining red is mostly bits I haven't done, like down near my jawline or near my temple. I haven't actually done either of those two sections. But this, the pinkness has definitely dimmed down. And um, yeah, so just. Any super pales out there who also have similar issues with redness and most correctors just make you look like a Vulcan, maybe give it a go. Anyway, ta-ta!